Surveillance video captures the vandal going window to window, breaking them, popping bike tires, and leaving bacon on the front door handle Sunday. The crime left some in Davis feeling sick and desperate to help. That we need to be there uh, on the front line of showing support, especially right now with, with our Muslim brothers and sisters here in Davis. Seth Castleman is one of more than a dozen people gathered at this Davis home tonight, creating signs of support. They hope to blanket the neighborhood with a welcoming message. And that we need to be reminding ourselves, each other, our larger society, that intolerance has no place in our neighborhood. <laughs> Despite the damage, worship continues at the Islamic Center of Davis. Now when mosque members enter the lobby, they're greeted by bouquets of flowers and cards offering well wishes. Well, this is the positive part of what happened that we know that uh, not everybody's thinking the same way as this female and what she did. The damage remains here, but the money to fix it is also pouring in. In two days since the vandalism, the mosque has raised more than $21,000. Time that we brought uh, an offering for you. Oh, okay. Thank you very to much. share with everybody. These UC Davis professors and students came to offer a pie just before for evening prayers, speaking with worshipers here, offering their friendship and solidarity. This kind of violent attack on uh, any of you, you know, it hurts us all, and we, you know, we're 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 with you. We're not we're not going to accept it. They are a valued member of our community. We like the having them here. We want them here. They have a place at the table, just like everybody else. In Davis, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.